Hey guys, it's Josh from I'llNeverForgetIt.com and I'm going to be talking a little bit about how to VNC your iPad or iPod Touch to control your Macintosh computer or your Windows computer, whichever you like. But today I'm going to show you how to do it with a Mac. Um, it's a real helpful trick uh, if you have an iPad and you have Wi-Fi or if you have a 3G iPad. You can just, if you need a file, you can uh, VNC your computer and send the file via email or you can pull it over if the file is right in the right format. Um, also, it's a nifty thing if somebody's messing around in your room, your brother or your sister or mom and dad are secretly going in your room and messing around or whatever, or you have a computer in the office and you want to see what's going on after hours, you can just VNC it and pull up like photo booth, which I'm going to do in the Mac, show you how to do, and just look on your iPad and see what's going on. It's a pretty nifty trick. All right. All right, you can see here I got an iPad. This is the iPad 1. Got to clarify that now that the iPad 2 came out. This is running uh, the new software too. It's running uh, 4.3 software, as you can see. And I'm going to show you how to VNC it. All right. So first of all, we got to go over to our Macintosh computer here. Uh, all you got to do is go to up to the Finder, click here, and click System Preferences, and go to Sharing. And I already got this thing. You go to sharing right here click on it and I check all these boxes I mean all you really need to do is check remote login and remote management and it's gonna the best way I do it is go to computer settings and it asks you to set it all up and it'll ask you for a password and you approve it and everything else hit OK and then just X that off and another way you can get to it is up here these like goggles this is how you know it's on open sharing the binoculars so now, here. Now that we got that all set up, all we gotta do is go to our iPad and go to our app store my connection is running slow, sorry guys and up in the search just put in V and C and search it'll pull up Our VNC clients, and I click search all, see all for iPad. I mean, you could use an iPod one, but I use this, and the one I use is Mochila VNC Lit in this video, and you just click on it, and then it explains everything pretty much right here. But you can see what the picture looks like. Loads. There you go. I gotta update mine as you can see but all you do here is it shows you it explains what you can do and stuff and I'll be right back because I'm gonna update this app to make sure I give you guys the best quality and the best device alright now I got it updated um, it's pretty much the same thing it just makes it run a little bit smoother I'm gonna explain how to set it up all you gotta do is I have mine in a utilities folder but and you, you just click on it and it will, when it first sets up, it's going to ask you for stuff. I have two connections, so I'm going to show you how. You just got to push uh, menu here and configure. And it's going to ask you for a couple things. It's going to ask you for your VNC server address, which you get by going on your Mac. Your Mac. And it says right here, you guys are going to have my IP address. I really don't care. I have it all password protected, and I usually don't have this on anyways. Remote management, and it shows you right there, remote management on, and it says your IP right, address right there. And you put that in, and it's going to ask you for your password, which it's going to um, demand you put a password in. But if you don't have one on there, you can put none, and it will work. And then I just have all this on, checked on, what you want. Like, so you can get all this stuff, Mac server, Mac keyboard, the uh, mouse has a finger, everything else. Then all you gotta do is go back and then up here in menu and oh, and click connect. And it'll say connect you. But I just want to show you that I'm in my bedroom and my apartment. It doesn't look amazing. But I'm gonna walk over to my living room and show you that I'm not just, I don't know, just show you that my living room here. Nothing too fancy. And then I'm just going to click on 14 places. And it's going to say connecting to da 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 my IP address. And 
I'm in. Now I'm doing this over a Wi-Fi connection. And, I mean, VNC is a bit slow, but... Hey, but here is my Mac. And I'm going to pull up a nifty thing you can do. I like doing this. It's like if... Like I said, if you want to see what's going on... Well, actually, there's all the sharing information right there. But uh, you can click on Photo Booth. And it's going to take a second to pull up on here. Because it's got to load on the computer and then load on here. But... Here we go, I pulled up the webcam in my bedroom, and it's going to kick on here. Hopefully not makes me look like a liar, there it goes. And you can see that it, I can take pictures and everything else, and it'll all be on my Mac. I can go, close that out, go over here, if I need to check my mail, click on my, oh, not there, right there, click on my mail client. And it's going to load my mail client. And a sec. So, uh, like I said, if you needed to use something at the office or stuff, it's a great little nifty tool, nifty trick to do. Or I can't tell you how many times that I forgot something at home and I just got on a laptop or, or used my iPad and just sent myself an email from it at school. And it saves the day every time. But uh, that's pretty simple, guys, on how to... It's a pretty simple tool to use. So, I mean, it's up to you. There's my email client. I must have not clicked on it. Multi touch works, so you can pull everything up. Everything. But you can do anything you want on your computer from your iPad. It's really nifty. This has been a how to video on how to VNC your iPad. Um, this is Josh from AllNeverForgetIt.com, and thanks for watching, and have a good day or night wherever you're watching. Alright, thanks, guys. Please subscribe.